In today's art video, I'm gonna show you how to make this. But we've gotta go over a few things first. And I gotta show you how to use some new products. So stay tuned. Man, that's hot. Good boy. Hello, and welcome back to another video. Okay, Jax, you're here too, okay. All right, in today's video, uh, we're gonna go over PH Martin's uh, Spectralite Acrylic Inks. All right, I talked to Alex out at PH Martin's, I don't know, a few months back, um, and I talked to him a year before that, also when I did another PH Martin's resin painting. Uh, I talked to him then about the acrylic Spectralite inks. He said that these are the most pigmented and strongest acrylic inks that PH Martin's makes. Um, they are very strong inks, so. Uh, now in today's little demonstration right here, I've got two cups of water and I'm going to fill these up. These are two ounce cups right here. And I'm just going to kind of show you how strong they are just in water. And then I've got a painting over here. We're going to tent that thing later, but let's get to this part of it first. So let me fill this up right here. And then I'm going to put one drop of uh, each of the inks in the water. So this is, there's just two, I just got two. Uh, the colors are grass green and true blue. So there's one drop there. Okay, and then we're gonna put another drop in this one. And then what we're gonna do is put two in the center. Just one of that and one of the other droppers. Bam, okay, there we go. All right, now let me mix these up together and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. That one's mixed. Do, 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 do. This one's mixed, oh, I splashed a little bit. And this one's mixed. Okay, so you have to imagine that this water would be your resin. Um, it's pretty close. I've mixed some of these up already and it's pretty close to the same true color. But now we use two drops in here and sometimes you've seen me in paintings adjust on the fly, you know, and use more clear and kind of get stuff to the colors that I like it. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dump this into another cup and as you can see, it's still, it's not opaque, but it's not translucent. And when you want to make it, you know, less dense of a color to more like a tint, you can add more resin to it, you know, and as you can see, it gets more translucent. Now, the whole thing with tint is I've got this painting right here that I've already spray painted with uh, acrylic um, spray paints. And you've got some white sections here. You know, you've got your blue sections here. It's just a whole bunch of different blues and then some white, you know, around it. Uh, when this tint goes on there, everything that's white should change to this color teal when I make this color teal in the resin. Um, and then we'll use some Iceland white from Art Tree Creations and I'll put some cells over top of it. So, uh, but, you know, just kind of going off of that and showing you and kind of telling you what's gonna happen before it happens. And that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> okay, I just thought I would give a quick little demonstration on it, show you that. And that way kind of you know when you go to do stuff on how it's gonna work. Uh, checking stuff out in water, it, it's it's not a bad idea and you can kind of test some stuff before you get it in your resin because resin's way more expensive than what water is. Um, I would say, you know, with translucent stuff, you're pretty close most of the time. Um, if you go with opaque pigment, you really won't have an idea. But with this translucent stuff, you're gonna be pretty close to what it's gonna look like in the resin. So, okay, uh, just thought I'd tell you that and let's get going. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so this painting is a uh, 23 inch MDF round that I made myself. Uh, it's got round over edges on the sides so the resin flows off of it. 
um, it is on half inch MDF. So right here, I'm just mixing up some Pro Marine Supply resin. Um, I used 22 ounces, um, 11 ounces of A and 11 ounces of B, so equal parts of each. Uh, I'll tell you what, I mixed up way too much, so I'm still trying to get the math calculated on these rounds right now, but I made some molds, and uh, usually when I make molds, I give those out at the art shows just to the kids and stuff, you know, so leftover resin, why let it go to waste? Okay, so in here, I'm uh, adjusting the colors, and I figured out I had too small of a mixing stick. Uh, this is a 16-ounce cup right here, and it's filled, you know, pretty full, so... I ended up putting um, approximately four drops of uh, each ink into this and then mixed it and it became the uh, teal color. And then as I'm mixing it, you'll see me here soon pull the stick out and just kind of, um, you know, test it, see what it looks like, and then kind of go from there. So one thing you got to remember uh, when you're putting color in to your resin, you can't really ever take it out. So once it's mixed in, just remember that. Uh, but right here, you know, like I said, I just keep adjusting and looking at it, putting it down on the board and seeing what color tint that I like that goes over the spray paint. Um, and that's what I got. So that's kind of how I did it. <laughs> uh, so I find the color I like, mix it in there, make it strong enough, you know, and then boom, we put it all down. So, uh, same way I kind of paint with the other stuff, but with this base coat acrylic spray paint, you know, that I've painted on there before I put the resin down, um, gives you kind of like a free layer to uh, add depth and kind of do what you want. So kind of a nice little technique. And I'm exploring this technique right now. Um, and then today also I tried paper Dixie cups. I think I just picked them up at like the local, oh, the local supermarket or whatnot. But uh yeah, I wanted to try to make some thinner lines, and I've noticed my plastic ones, they'll crack sometimes. So just wanted to try that. Uh, I have some paintings that I'm going to be doing some uh, thinner lines on here soon. So I'm like, well, might as well get them and try them. Uh, I did try a new heat gun today by Wynn, and I didn't really like it. I was having some trouble with my torch, too. Uh, the head was, you know, all resined up, so I had to go to my baby torch. Generally like that one, so I actually stopped in the middle of this painting, uh, Went and found my pliers and then the part on the top that, you know, uh, mine's got a little screw dial that will um, adjust and, you know, lets it open up. Okay. All right. I'll quit rambling. Back to the painting, though. <laughs> uh, I noticed that I mixed my white up, you know, not strong enough. And then plus right here, I think I'm running out and going to grab the pliers to fix the torch or whatnot. Uh, when I come back in here, I'm going to mix the white stronger with the Art Tree Creations uh, pigment paste. And don't worry, at the end of the video, I'll kind of show you and we'll go over all the products and everything again. Um, I'll show you kind of what the pigment paste is in a, in a photograph. So right now I'm just uh, changing out my gloves and mixing up more of the white. I did that. Boom, now it's stronger. You can see how much more opaque it is right there. Uh, and then I'm just, you know, tilting it and torching it. And then that way what that does is that'll create some of the cells. Okay, so I'm just, you know, rotating the uh, painting around and kind of getting it to where I want it at and then just putting the cells kind of like wherever I kind of see fit. And then I'm, uh, you know, like I said, I'm practicing on making the thinner lines and stuff like that. And then I just, you know, I didn't really have any rhyme or reason where I was putting stuff at, just kind of put it where I thought my eyes would go. And I know you guys have heard me say that, you know, a lot, but that's, you know, kind of how I feel. Um, and I just kind of go with where I see the stuff going at, uh, right here, coming up here pretty soon, I'm going to use a technique, uh, with some more of this, um, oh, I mixed up a little bit more with like the same kind of a color, uh, for the turquoise again with the inks. And then right there, that's going to kind of push the resin, um, that straight line of the colored resin right there. And then I'll go through it, pop the bubbles and stuff, but that'll give me some of the lacing on the back side. And the reason I did that is because on the right hand side of the painting, um, it was getting kind of too close for where I liked it at on the, uh, you know, on the placement on the white, just what I saw with my eyes, you know, so that's kind of where I put it at. And then here's one of the thin lines, you know, and then I just heat it and 
sell it out. And I think I bumped that with my finger down there on the bottom. So that's why I added a little bit more resin to it. But yeah, I just kind of added some cells and I'm like, oh, let's continue the line all the way to the center. So that's what I did. Just made it really thin, right? Like that. And then just heated it and, um, you know, tilted it a little bit more. So uh, that's what I do in this, you know, just use that propane torch like that, heat it and tilt it and, you know, keep it a decent way away from the, um, away from the painting. And then, like I said, you can see down there on how much leftover resin I had. So I filled up some molds and stuff, but other than that, this thing's pretty much done. Just, you know, remember to adjust your sides and do all that, um, scrape the bottom. So here's a little flyover of it right now. And then uh, I'll have some detailed pictures of these, uh, cells and everything right there oh man that looks pretty good <laughs> she's hot i like it uh there's some more of it right there a little detailed picture so um more right there oh man that's good looking okay uh but <laughs> anyways um the products are coming up here and then uh this is a picture of the painting you know just sitting there so it's not done yet and i do plan on adding a layer but just figured i'd make a quick video on it all right, so here is the uh, PH Martin's uh, Spectralite inks right there. Um, and then there is the uh, Iceland White and then the PH Martin's to kind of show you the dropper. Um, Iceland White's a pigment paste, so it looks like that on your popsicle stick. So just thought I'd show you that. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I'm back. So I just tinted that, put some cells on it, kind of did all that. Looks like I'm gonna have to give it a flood coat, but I plan on layering this one anyways. I just don't know when, um, but I'll get to it. Uh, so this, uh, the PH Martins, you know, Spectralite inks, the acrylic inks, they worked really, really good for tinting it. I had to adjust a little bit on the fly, add a little bit more, stir it in. Um, then the Iceland White, you know, it, it worked perfect kind of for making the cells and the lacing and everything else like that. And with the, with the tents being so translucent, you can kind of see a lot of the lacing a lot better and everything. So, okay, uh, this thing's still curing. Uh, just figured I'd finish up this video. Um, I don't know when I'll get to the second layer, like I said, um, but it, it's a it's a good looking painting. So um, you can see the different shades of blue, the different hues, everything like that. Torch and tilt method again. Nothing, you know, nothing too special about that. Tried out a new heat gun. Um, I don't know if I like that one at all or not, but I don't know. I'll give it another go or something, but yeah. Pro Marine, good resin. Um, Art Tree Creations, Iceland White, made all those nice cells. It's a pigment paste. Uh, and then the tents, you know, so that's what we got. But uh, yeah, okay. All right, I'll link everything in the description below. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, there you go. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll put some more videos up here. I hope you learned something today. And if you like what I did and what I showed, uh, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave some comments down below. I really do appreciate that. Okay. Stay safe and have fun. Make something beautiful. Bye-bye.